that's one of the key ingredients, I think. It really feels like you're eating real cookie dough. Welcome back to the Anabolic Hub, where we make anabolic deliciousness. We are just outside my kitchen today, and we have another original recipe that we're going to be doing, drawing some inspiration from Coach Greg Doucette's anabolic ice cream. We are going to be doing our own version of high protein, extra anabolic cookie dough ice cream. The ice cream base is the same, but this topping is a whole nother piece of anabolic deliciousness. Are we on the money with this one? Let's find out. By getting things started, looking at the ingredients. Here we go. PB2 powder, vanilla-based protein powder, Splenda, coconut flour, ground cinnamon, vanilla extract, sugar-free syrup, unsweetened almond milk, sugar-free chocolate chips. Okay, so we're gonna start putting this recipe together first by adding together the dry ingredients. So our first dry ingredient is going to be 32 grams of our PB2 powder. So you can use the chocolate version or the regular version. If you like it a little bit more chocolatey, then you can use the chocolate version that I have here. If you don't, the regular version will work fine. It just won't taste as chocolatey. 32 grams going in. 32 grams on the money. Next up, we're putting in two packets or two grams of our Splenda. Going in. And paper wrapper check, we're good. Two grams on the money. And then next, we're measuring out 17 grams of our vanilla-based protein powder. You can use whey or casein, whichever one you have should be fine for this recipe. So 17 grams, measuring it out. Just shy. 17 grams on the money. Then we need 25 grams of our coconut flour. Going in. Boom, 25 grams on the money. And our last dry ingredient is three grams of our ground cinnamon. Just like that, three grams on the money. And as we always do with our dry ingredients, we're going to sift them together not using a sifter, but a fork, because I know not everyone has a sifter. Maybe I'll get one one of these days. But let's let the sifting begin. You guys hear it coming? You know what I'm gonna say? Don't you dare sleep on this one. Makes all the difference in the world. Even without baking powder or baking soda. Incorporate those ingredients. Get a good mix. Get a good sift. Done sifting. Now it's time to start adding in our wet ingredients. The first one we need is 15 grams of our maple syrup. Sugar free, of course. Uh oh, only got 12 out of this container. Good thing I have a backup. And please don't ask why the backup's in a Tupperware container. Final three, oh, 13. Final two grams going in. Boom, 15. On the money. Next up for our wet ingredients, we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna make that into one capful because it is about the same. So we're gonna take our little vanilla extract cap, pour some vanilla extract in, and dump it. Boom, close enough to being on the money. And our last wet ingredient is going to be a half a cup or 120 milliliters of unsweetened almond milk. <laughs> Going in. All right, and after you get all that in there, it's time to start mixing it up. Give it a good mix. Make sure you get all the wet and dry ingredients well incorporated here, and it should kind of form into one little ball of dough that we have there. A little bit's up here, but you get the idea. This is what we're looking for, this kind of cookie dough consistency. Make sure we scrape down the sides, get all the ingredients. So once we have something that looks like that, it's time to start mixing in our sugar-free chocolate chips. We have 13 grams of sugar-free chocolate chips, pre-weighed, ready to go. Now for this, you can mix them with the spoon, but you know we like to get a little dirty in our video, so I'm gonna actually use my hands, that I've washed already, of course, and start mixing in these chocolate chips. You're still folding them in, you just wanna get them dispersed throughout the dough. Once we start making our little cookie dough chunks here, you're gonna wanna make sure you at least have one chocolate chip in each little piece. So just do your best to kind of mash it up. Again, you don't have to use your hands, but like I said, we gotta get a little dirty, right? Okay, and once you've mashed them up and they're all inside the dough, 
it's time to start making our little chunks of topping that we're gonna do here. Grab yourself a small dish or a bowl. You guys can see that. All right, good. So then we're gonna make our little chunks of topping. Now remember, this is going into ice cream, anabolic ice cream. So they don't have to be huge balls of cookie dough. You can just make little ones. It's a topping, so you just wanna make sure you can get it into a spoon full of ice cream. So we're just gonna make little cookie dough balls about that size and then drop them right on the plate. Try to get as many as you can, making sure you get a little bit of chocolate chip in each one. The more you make, the more it'll spread around your ice cream and you'll have a little bit of topping in almost every bite. And then once you're done making the topping, you should have something that looks like this. Just a bunch of chocolate cookie dough balls, all kind of rolled up. Topping style, of course. A little bit of chocolate chip in each one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pop this into the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let them chill for a little bit. Literally, they're going to chill. All right, they're going in right now. Then it's on to making the ice cream. Now it's time to make our ice cream. So we're going to be using Coach Greg's recipe for this one. It's in his Ultimate Anabolic Cookbook 2.0. So if you don't have that, I highly recommend you pick it up. Lots of great recipes on there. I've done a few reviews on the channel. So we're gonna be putting this together right now. First ingredient we have to put in is for you to smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and why don't you comment down below? Have you ever had raw cookie dough before? I have, I'm curious, have you guys? Let me know, comment section, cool. All right, back to the ice cream. Here we go. First ingredient we have going in here is going to be 33 grams of our vanilla-based casein protein powder. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> Lots of natural sunlight, but you get the idea. 33 grams of your vanilla-based casein protein powder going in. And we have a cold recipe today, so we're going to be using guar gum. If you have xanthan gum, it will work. I just find that guar gum works a little bit better with cold recipes. We're going to be measuring out two grams of the guar gum here using our negative scale trick. And we have our two grams of our guar gum going in. And of course it's on the money. Next up, we need 50 calories of a frozen fruit. Today we're using blueberries, so there's about 50 calories and 100 grams of blueberries that we have here. So these are going in there right now. Got them all. Then we need more almond milk. So we've measured out here a quarter of a cup, or it's about 60 milliliters of almond milk going in. And just for fun, and of course sweetness, we're gonna put in one packet or one gram of our zero calorie sweetener, Splenda in this case. Boom, in, checking for any paper packet, none in there. Good. Okay, and now what really determines the thickness and can bring out or take away from the flavor is going to be ice. I found that about a handful and a half of ice is good, so I'm gonna go grab a handful and a half of ice and drop it in instantaneous for you ready okay roughly a handful and a half of ice here going in i do reserve judgment if i want to add a little bit more very really do i take any out but let's drop this in and i'll give it the old laser eyeball check here we go i think i want two more cubes coming back instant for you guys two more cubes in boom all right get all ingredients in there for the ice cream time to pop the lid onto our what is this thing called Food processor. <laughs> all right, we got all the ingredients in there. Time to pop the lid onto our food processor or what you're using likely is a blender. Either one, they both work. Lid going on. And now we're gonna blend this for a few minutes till it thickens up and looks like ice cream. Ready? And go. I'm gonna add a touch more almond milk. Very little calorie, so why not? I may have out-iced the ice cream. Let's see how this goes. All right, and just like the magic of the guar gum supposed to do, this is thickened up beautifully. Thick with three C's here. We're gonna transfer it onto our bowl, add in our topping, and then we're gonna get the taste test going. All right, guys, here we go. And as tempting as it might be to lick that blade in there, do not do it. Trust me, bad things happen when you lick blades. <laughs> Don't do it, just wash it. All right, let's add in our topping. So I just took our cookie dough topping out of the freezer. It was in there for about 10 minutes while we did the ice cream. Now we're gonna drop it into our voluminous 
lots of volume, <laughs> ice cream, and head over and do our taste test. This part's easy. One just rolled off onto the counter. And of course these aren't coming off. <laughs> but when in doubt, use your hands. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, they're all in there. We're gonna mix them in. Let's bring this over and try out our cookie dough ice cream. Well, here we are again at the taste test table here. So much volume in this food, it's ridiculous. I'm very excited to try this. I've tried the cookie dough balls already, <laughs> but I haven't tried them in the anabolic ice cream, so I'm very excited to do this. I think it's gonna be a perfect match. Already haven't had the ice cream. I think this one's gonna be really good. So why don't we not have any further ado, and let's just dive in and take the first bite. All right, whew, so much volume. Look at that, not good or what? All right. Give it a try. Ready? Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is good. I right, crunch down on the chocolate chip. It's good texture in the ice cream, especially having frozen them a little bit. It works really well with the blueberries as the fruit too. Strawberries would probably work well too, but I just like the anabolic ice cream with the blueberries. It's just such good flavor. Wow. This might be better than the Reese's peanut butter cups that we put in the last batch when we did the anabolic avalanche. Mm. Yeah, for the macros on this cookie dough, oh my God, this is amazing. Adds so much protein, a lot of fiber. I think I definitely like it better than the lava cake version, which is still good, but I just prefer this, I think. When you use the chocolate PB2 powder, you do get more of a chocolatey taste in the cookie dough. I've made them both ways with the regular PB2 and the chocolate PB2. You do get a little bit more of a chocolatey flavor, obviously, when you use the chocolate version, but it's still good. And then being a little bit cold too, I think is key when you put them in. Having them be not quite frozen, you don't wanna leave them in for too long because then you're not gonna be able to eat them. But I think if they're just about at that 10 minute mark, They'll be perfect to go in, still be cold, not gonna melt your ice cream. Really adds a great topping to an already awesome, awesome dessert. I think the coconut flour really adds to that cookie dough type flavor and texture when you bite into it, especially being a little bit frozen. That's one of the key ingredients I think in the recipe is that coconut flour. If you're looking for more of a genuine cookie dough flavor, I would probably go with the regular PB2 powder and definitely stick with the vanilla-based protein powder. It just works better in terms of more of a genuine cookie dough flavoring, but I mean, this is really good even with the chocolate version. So if you're a chocolate person, you're gonna love this. This is great. When you bite into, sorry, when you bite into the cookie dough chunks, it really feels like you're eating real cookie dough. Like you bite down, the flavor bursts, you get that chocolate chip flavoring in your mouth. It's just so good. It's just, it's something that if you sat down and you ate a whole thing of cookie dough, or at least the amount of cookie dough that's in this topping, you'd be adding hundreds of calories, hundreds of calories to your ice cream. It's gonna be mostly sugar, high in fat, gonna go way over your calories for the day. Something like this you can have, you can stay on track, you can get more protein into your diet. I mean, it's really a no brainer. I'll flash the macros up here so you guys can see. But man, you gotta try this. I tried a few iterations of this too. It took a while to find the ingredients where the texture was right. Tried a couple different flours. The oat flour didn't really work so well. Coconut flour really seemed to add the right flavor and texture to it, so I think that's very important. If you're thinking about mixing out a different flour, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It was either too gritty or the flavor was off and it tasted just like a peanut butter ball. I think the, that coconut flavor really brings out what, oddly enough as it sounds, brings out the cookie dough flavoring. So this is spot on here. And as soon as you bite into it, it really actually tastes like cookie dough. So much volume in this, it's insane. The ice cream alone has a ton of volume. Like I've never eaten anabolic ice cream and been hungry after. Most of the time it's like the afternoon snack that carries me through to a later dinner. Might be a masterpiece in the making here, I don't know. So if you guys try it, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'm curious to what you think. Even if you just make the cookie dough part and you skip the ice cream, try those and let me know how close do you think they are to actual cookie dough. I think it's pretty close to spot on, especially, you know, when we're talking about not adding in a ton of sugar and a ton of fat. I am gonna finish this, but I'm not gonna make you watch me eat it all. Maybe just one more bite and I'll call it. I gotta get going. All right, guys, you don't have to watch me anymore. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Guys, I almost forgot. Buy this frickin' cookbook, would you?